at the borders of our glorious nation, bristling with penis tips. When our founding fathers established this republic, they created a political and economic system unique among nations. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A Slow down, Dr. George S. Benson. To the very pinnacle in wealth and in world leadership. For now. This series of programs is being presented to help all of us understand better. Our understand butter? Our Guy American starting off strong. He even says better, better, For better. For topic. Let's join now a group of young people at the National Education Program Workshop in Searcy, Arkansas. At the classroom lectern is Dr. Clifton L. Gaines Jr. <laughs> Why is the national story? income a stack of several dimes? We screwed the pooch, the ladies and gentlemen. System. I propose that we let our children deal with it. The national income is divided in America. I want you to get familiar the words, with the numbers 99 the and 1. The great wealth produced through the operation of American capitalism. Is the distribution widespread? No. Or is the wealth of America concentrated in the hands of a few, as the socialists and communists say? Yes. This is the central question for our discussion today. The answer constitutes a tribute to our system. Uh -huh. For the wealth produced within American capitalism uh -huh. is widely distributed throughout our population. At least that's what the Walton family tells us. An economic system must fulfill two social needs of the population which it serves. First, an adequate production of goods, and second, an equitable distribution of those goods. How would you straighten that tie before you talk to me about the economy, mister? For an economic system. And in our previous classroom sessions, we have seen how well our own system measures up. How so you put a coin in, does he vibrate? Freedom. The parts of and him do. Is for personal achievement. Not the parts you think. About national uh, roll the dice. That American capitalism is morally right because its chief elements, private ownership, the profit motive, and the competitive market are wholesome and good. Source needed. They are compatible with God's laws and the teachings of the Bible. Was that, what was that about the Bible? With her unique economic system, the United States. Right here in the center of the world. Of the wealth of the world. Although we have only 7% of the world's population. We are the greatest. Of the land area. To sum it up, we are kicking ass. Is morally right. Uh, it provides economic freedom <laughs> and great incentives for development. What about for the blacks and women? Is unmatched what? In all human history. <laughs> I think you made some of those words it brings up. Brings us to the central question: the question of distribution. Are these economic benefits under American capitalism being extended to American wage or salary earners? Or would this big segment of the population be better off under socialism or communism? Is there another option? No! Evil or good! Choose now came or be socialism. catapulted into the sea! We visited America after Great Britain had experienced a socialist system for five years. This is just Fox News in black and white. You buy food in a place such as this. Well, this is just an ordinary food market. Most everybody in America shops at stores like this from time to time. You know, when they feel like having some food. Luxury? Look at this, for instance. Competition and big volume keep prices down. I say, begging your pardon, sir, are you a capitalist? What'd you say? Do you want me to fix that accent what for you, pansy? You work? <laughs> I'm a railroad engineer. An entire Are shopping cart of food on an engineer's salary? They must not an be in America. The answer to the question of America's distribution of wealth was given by a Russian communist who visited America. What is this obese ba vampire doing out in daylight? The employees in the plant? That cannot be. Oh, guest starring the Tor Johnson. Toil. They are chained to their capitalist machines. They are exploited. They have nothing. Absolutely nothing under capitalism. Accurate. Mm, the yeah. was amazing, Nailed it. Of course. In communist countries, the workers do not have cars. They eat dirt, and they have three eyes, and they walk upside down. And the bicycle is a trademark of English and European workers. Comparatively few own cars. Sounds pretty nice. In America, nice. as we all know, yeah. there are more automobiles than families. Don't and think we need that many, do you? Who needs an environment? Who will risk a guess as to the total amount of the national income during this amazing productive era in America? Let's say for the last 25 years. Yes? I would say it would be hundreds of billions. WRONG! In the trillions. For the 25-year period just ended, it was 3 trillion, 
$780 billion. Called it. You get writer's cramp with a figure like that. Aren't we nailing it? Have I mentioned that already? All this money. The nailing it thing? To see how this wealth was distributed, let's look at this graph. This is not a graph. The total national income to the employees of America. They the get these 16 quarters. Went the biggest amount, 65%. The self-employed. That is a self-employed doctor? Operators that, got the hmm. next share. I'm listening to your nip. Percent. The farmers and dairymen who supplied food markets and are processing plants with the raw foodstuffs receive six and one half percent. Mm -hmm. Stockholders, the people who could save a little money and invest it in business and industry, actually receive, receive all of the money. But the power of cocaine and lying to people. Yes. Since there are 18 million stockholders in America today. And thank God the stock market's always so, you know, have built so rigid, trustworthy. Provide a new machine. Yeah, stable, reliable. New jobs in industry. The corporation That's bold of that hotel to name itself Plow. Yeah, normally American sex hotels are a bit more discreet. They retain only Not like those flashy Japanese sex hotels. Income. Which are called sex hotels and have wondrous themes and a multitude of and services. Lastly, the bondholders who provided the cash for new schools, new paving, home loans, and so forth. How big of an umbrella is percent. that? Now let's examine the distribution of wealth in another way. Family let's income. income. Holy family. Christ! Is that $272 billion? <laughs> no wonder they were able to buy a house when they got out of high school. They received an income of approximately $272 billion before taxes. But, oh, okay, so that's reasonable. How was income distributed among these families? I don't know, but something went wrong. How did we get here? Aren't the majority of our families in the lower income brackets Below $3,000 a year. Yes, but they're not people, so they don't count in our equation. 1 million families, or 40%, received an income of three to $6,000. This dude has an abacus made out of people? Don't trust anything, he says. These two groups contain 70% of the population. That leaves only these with an income of $3,000 or less. And you don't need to worry about them. They're only 30% of the population. <laughs> no problem here. Incomes of $10,000 or more. I wonder what that's used for when the cameras are off. $15,000 and above. It's his child trafficking calculator. bigger portion of venture capital or investment money to build manufacturing. God, his tie clip is blinding me. Thus creating new jobs and new products. Sir, I noticed there the aren't any families of ethnicity figures. on your chart. Well, they are on the chart, just that part of the chart's on the floor. They're what these families are standing upon. 10 and 8 tenths percent received from one to $2,000, while five and seven tenths percent. And that one guy on the left is now one third a person? We must remember, however, he can't even afford to have more than half of a child? Cash incomes do not Don't feel bad for him, Betsy. One third of him is doing quite well. One chunk of him is firmly lower middle class. Much more than I realized. Yes, 85% of all income goes to 93% of the families, while the other 7% of our families receive the remaining 15%. Thus, it can be seen that the great bulk of income goes to these families with the greatest bulk. Middle income range. That a relatively small percentage of families. I don't like how he's stroking the small families. And a very small minority of families receive $15,000 or more per year. In fact, if all the income left to those in the $15,000 or above bracket after taxes are paid, taxes? Would be distributed <laughs> evenly among the 160 million people in America. Each of us would receive only 55 cents a day. Brandon, what do you think is shining and crustily on his tie? Of all That's obviously the illuminating the glow of capitalism. Evenly, each of us would receive only 15 cents a day above our present income. Except for Bob, who so would get $45 million. Dollars. And he knows why. <laughs> and now we see Bob's final form. For the benefit of all Americans that incentives for achievement remain constant in the upper income level, as in all other brackets. So that all Americans It's capitalism. Give us all your ideas and we'll give you, you know, an enough to in our live? Nation. 
There is one additional yardstick of our economic well-being in all walks of American life. That is the yardstick that we beat dissenting thought out of people's heads with. Let's take a brief look. Do you remember what I was saying? If so, prepare for your yardstick. Owned by 25 million people. The houses of America worth $230 billion are owned by one person. Million people. Oh, I was off. Our 50 million automobiles are owned by, are owned by Jim. Families. The factories and machinery that produce the material things of life. Where we build our fine American cycles. spiders made out of metal one that terrorize the deserts. More than 100 million of our people own the wealth of America. And the remainder, most of them children and youths. Children and what was that word you used? Potential wealth. The true facts about American capitalism's distribution of wealth and its great wealth production overshadow anything the communist and socialist have to show. Got the it. Truth about the distribution of wealth under American capitalism makes Karl Marx the world's worst prophet. Marx, the socialist founder of communism, prophesied that under capitalism, wealth would be concentrated in the hands of fewer and fewer. I got bad news, 1955 guy. For increasing poverty. The fact is that American capitalism has set a new standard for human welfare. And if we keep its basic principles strong and vigorous in the years ahead. If we do the that. Opportunity of every Which American we did. <laughs> Not even close. Will certainly be Straight to the gutter. <laughs> Directly into the ocean. Socialism. Blah, blah, communism. Blah, blah. Will come out of their shadowy pipe dreams and join us in our march of human progress. At our next session, we will discuss the spirit of enterprise. Until then, class dismissed. A presentation of the National Education the Program of Propaganda. Wait, no, not propaganda. This was uh, True Facts, yeah. Program, Searcy, Arkansas, Dr. George S. Benson, director. Dr. Clifton L. Gaines, Jr. was our instructor. His name is actually spelled so it includes anus, too. Everyone, point and laugh! Economic system which <laughs> Gaines. the next presentation of the American Adventure. Uh-huh, yeah. Um, if you're a preacher, you, you have a special license to thump it while you're yelling whatever at people. And by it, we are referring to the choir boys. Oh! oh. That's a choir boy butthole zinger! Yeah, hmm. Yes. <laughs> Brandon, make up the VFX package for that one. Well, not only will this not get demon or not only will this demonetize <laughs> our entire network, but I'm pretty sure we're not gonna be allowed to, you know, be outside of government uh supervision for a while. They call that jail. <laughs> Where did you find you taped it yourself? <laughs>